I'm Eduardo Terzidis. I am a permaculture designer, teacher and consultant and a yoga teacher currently based in Portugal. And um, my work um, basically focuses on helping people, individuals, groups and projects to develop regenerative solutions. And I really like to kind of bring the idea of transitioning towards a regenerative future into the personal realm. So that's why I combine, you know, personal practices with uh, more global kind of solutions like permaculture technology. I have a background in engineering, so I really like to weave all of these aspects together. My name is Sarah Wu and I am from the United States. I live full time in Costa Rica for many years now. I am an herbalist and I teach permaculture philosophy. Um, my deep-rooted principles are in deep ecology, as well as regenerative and holistic personal design, community design. And I really feel so passionate about bringing people <clears throat> to a space of um, just interconnection with the world, in particular through, through plants and through their connection to living creatures outside of the human realm. So we're here facilitating a course called Soul to Soil. This course is working with the foundation of the permaculture design course, but specifically integrating the deep aspects of people care in relationship to the individual's role in just the great change that we're experiencing right now. So many people are really confused about what their place is, how they can help the world, how they can be active members in their communities. And this course, when we came together, looking at a PDC permaculture design course for personal development, we're really looking at this relationship between the earth, between us as unique individuals, as well as a collective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for me, you know, the way we also came together was just such a beautiful um, connection of what I believe are all the elements that need to come together for us to be able to really offer and implement uh, solutions for a better future and uh, because many times you know we talk about the solutions but it always kind of feels like solutions are something just out there but the real question for us was how does the individual fit into these solutions what's our role how, how can we really step up and um, and understand how we can play and how we can contribute in this so the idea was really not only talking about what we can do as a collective, as a humanity, but what I and everyone can do as an individual. So that's why we both strongly, strongly believe that health and personal development have to be considered when we talk about a regenerative future. And this is really, really the core aspect of, uh, of this course. And mm -hmm. many times a permaculture design, co design course leaves people a bit like, oh, okay, I know all these things, but what am I going to do now? So we want to help people understand what they are here to do here in this planet, here in this life to do. Yeah, really teaching them these concepts of interdependence and the different strengths and limitations that we all have as individuals and how together we can weave a really strong you know, tapestry of community and a strong network um, globally as well as within people's individual bioregions. Yeah, and we like to consider this course to be kind of like a, a place and a space where we can really learn how to live, how to be humans, you know, and, and um, in this context, of course, we need to touch upon all of the different aspects that being humans mean. And uh, also bringing this idea of spirituality that nowadays is we don't, we don't even know what it means anymore, just bringing back down to earth, down into the body and allowing people to understand what it means to really be connected to the earth, to the planet, to other people, to the animals and to ourselves and to our life mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this course is working from the foundation of the permaculture design course, which really goes into the basics of earth sciences as well as, you know, strategies for energy saving, food growing, etc. And how we're integrating the human aspect is through exercises and social permaculture, talking a lot about value, the kind of default systems that we're all 
working through right now how we can transition through those. We're talking a lot about economics, community development, as well as um, wellness and through the lens of the herbalist and getting into medicinal plants and mushrooms, thinking about human health. We're having movement classes, really getting people into their physical bodies, interacting with the space and, and being together. It's quite lovely actually seeing how the community just really gelled within a few days. Yeah, and we have really put an effort into trying to always stand in the middle. You know, the permaculture world many times is uh, can be a bit polarized. You know, you can find people, designers and courses that maybe only talk about the technical side of permaculture or only about the spiritual side of permaculture if we want to call it that way but for us is again it's really important to bring them both together and to really stand in the middle so mm -hmm. that not only can we offer holistic solutions and approaches but also we can offer the possibility for everyone to find something you know because we're not all equal so really the question was how can we create an experience an opportunity for everyone to access to their own nature and to what really they are called to, to do and to bring into the world.